Hey guys, it's me, my reborn, and I am back with another video. Today is Tuesday, and it is April 4th, and it's currently 6.18 p.m., and I have September here, and she looks a little off in this lighting, but if I turn this light on, it gives it a little bit of a better lighting, but the fan turns on with that light, and I, it's pretty loud. So I'm just gonna leave it off, but she is not showing up her color on camera. I don't know why. But anyways, I have September for today's video. I'm gonna change her into this romper. And we got lucky a few days ago and it was pretty warm outside. It was like 50 degrees and that's pretty warm to us. And so I was happy about that, but then it started raining so it's been raining all week today it wasn't raining no longer than maybe 10 minutes and then all of a sudden you start seeing lightning and then you start hearing thunder and then out of nowhere it starts pouring down hail it was hailing outside for about five minutes straight and it was really really loud and it was just pouring down and that's like the third time it has hailed in the past month but anyways that's besides the point <laughs> um easter is actually this sunday and i wish i had like some easter outfits for the babies but unfortunately i don't so we're just going to change the babies into pretty much um anything and so she's going to be wearing this romper even though it rained and hailed it's not snowing, so that means the babies can wear what they want. <laughs> She's going to be wearing this romper. It's pink and it has hearts all over it. It says love. I don't know why the color is showing up like this. I'm trying to see if... Um, I'm not sure, guys. I don't know what's going on. I'll probably have to fix that later. But anyways, that's the romper that September is going to be wearing. And she was wearing just her diaper but about a week or two after her being just in her diaper I ended up putting this sleeper on this little zebra sleeper and so she's been in this ever since I just put her in it but yeah she was in her diaper for about a week or two but I was like it's time to just change her into some PJs or something until I get a chance to change her outfit or do a video with her so anyways for today's video topic i guess we're going to be talking about the baby's birthdays we're going to um talk about if you celebrate your baby's birthdays if you do anything fun on the baby's birthdays and when your baby's birthdays are so we'll start when your brave when are your <laughs> i'm tongue tied when are you guys's baby's birthdays what, what do you, you decide when their birthday should be so there's multiple options there's about three or four options uh first option the day you buy the baby or finish paying the baby off if you decide to do payment plans or right away do you make that their birthday the day that you finish paying them off do you do the day that they were finished getting painted do you do the day that they arrive to you or do you just come up with a different date of either a random date or a date that is special to you so for me um i do the date that they arrive to me just because i do buy most of my babies secondhand so i don't know the artist a lot of the time so i am unaware of when they got done being painted so that will eliminate that option um but i really think just the day that they arrive since they're here with me in person and i get a chance to open them up and so overall that day is really special so i just make that like their little fake baby birthday and um i was thinking about doing like a special date for some of the babies but like not necessarily like a date in the future if that makes sense like if i got the baby in december it was probably going to be like a January or December date if I wanted to have a special date for the baby. For example, for her, she came in August and I really wanted her to come in like September. 
due to her name being September and she was a birthday baby or early birthday baby or birthday present, whatever. And so for her, I really wanted her to come in September so that her little fake baby birthday could be in September, but she ended up coming in August. Um, so I was thinking about either waiting to open her up until September or just making that her little birthday, but I decided against it because I always just do the day that I open the babies up. So my next question is, do you celebrate your baby's birthdays? And for me, I don't celebrate my baby's birthdays. And I think it's because I have way too many babies. So honestly, I don't even remember the day that I got them or the day that they came or whatever. I don't remember. Um, but I think if I had maybe a toddler or a bigger baby, that that might be more fun to do for role playing. And maybe one day I can do. Um, Honestly, guys, we had a good run. And my good run is officially gone again with the recording videos on my phone. I had ended up uh, figuring out like my storage thing again just for it to all of a sudden get used up in a matter of a couple of days. It's crazy, but I don't even remember what I was saying. Um, I think I left off where, uh, um, I don't remember, honestly. I think I said if I had like a, a toddler or a bigger baby that I'll actually like maybe celebrate their birthday and do like some uh, birthday role play. But as far as like celebrating their birthdays, I don't really remember their birthdays off the top of my head. And I do have like a lot of babies, so maybe that's why. But again, I don't celebrate their birthdays or their birthdays. Um, it would be fun if I could, but I don't, unfortunately. I don't celebrate their birthdays. And the only thing, so it's been going pretty good. For their birthday me um opening them up and whatever day i open them up is the day that um is their birthday now last year those of you who have been watching my channel and my videos would know last year was a little different i had opened up three babies at the same time and I got them quite a while ago, but I had opened them up because that's the only time that I was able to open them up. So for them, I don't know. I don't know if I want to do it the day, the day that I purchased them, or do I want to do it the day that they got delivered, or the day that I opened them up? Because I am lost on that. Like for saint who is april by joanna k i got him in february but i didn't open him up until august so i don't know what i want to do for him should he have a birthday an august birthday or yeah february birthday but to be fair with my other babies, they had got shipped out in May and they arrived to me in May and I didn't open them up until August. But with him, I got him in February, but I asked if she could hold off on shipping him until um, I had the time and space to open him. And she said, yeah. So she ended up shipping him out in August and then I got him in August. So for, with him, it's a little different then, I guess. And the other three babies I'm talking about is uh, seven and two, two that I no longer have. And I guess it really doesn't matter anymore because I don't have the other two anymore as well as seven is up for sale. So he'll be sold hopefully soon. <laughs> Anyways, I know this is a pretty weird angle for you guys so i do apologize i'm just gonna go ahead and wrap this video up and yes guys she is really really dirty she definitely needs a bath 
um, as well as some matting powder, which I need to get soon because I always say I'm gonna get it and I don't, but she definitely needs a bath and then to get powder down. So that's why I haven't been making a lot of videos with her and I actually haven't been like holding her like that because off camera, um, I don't really play with my babies, but I do hold them from time to time and maybe change them off camera from time to time when I feel like it. And uh, she hasn't been held in a long time just because she does need a bath. Anyway, let's just go ahead and then do her hair. She looks all peaceful. This is a size three month romper and it fits her really good. So I can kind of give you guys um, her size. Anyways, that was just pretty much my question and my topic for today's video, just the baby's birthdays because I see sometimes people celebrate their baby's birthdays. Yeah, not a lot, but I do see it. Especially like, again, like I said, the older babies and uh, the toddlers and the child size. I always see, well, not again, not always, but sometimes I see people celebrating and I think that's really cool. I don't really see it a lot for the younger babies, but I know it makes really good role play for the older babies. So you guys will have to let me know in the comments below what day you guys choose for your baby's birthdays and if you celebrate them or not. Again, I do the day that my babies arrive and then I do, I don't celebrate their birthday, but I might start, you never know. You never know. There's a bowl right here. Um. <laughs> it's too heavy. Oh uh, yeah, it's too heavy. I'm gonna take it out. I don't want it to pull her hair anyway. Anyways, I do have to change a few of the babies just because they've been in their outfits for too long. I think it's just Saint. I don't think I changed Saint. I'm not sure. But I think it's Saint and Zoe because the last time I changed Zoe was for St. Patrick's Day, which was almost a month ago. So yeah. Anyways, this is September. That's me changing her into this romper that fits her really good. And I'm honestly a little shocked about that because it's uh, three months Carter's and it fits her perfectly. She's been eating good. Let me show you guys her outfit. So that's her outfit, super cute. You know what? This would have been perfect for Valentine's Day, would it have? This would have been absolutely perfect for Valentine's Day. I don't put a lot of pathies in her mouth just because I like that her mouth is already opened. And I think it is a great expression and very, very realistic. Um, all of my little cousins sleep with their mouth open, so I like that a lot. But yeah, I don't really, I just realized that I don't put any pathies in her mouth. I just think she looks super cute with that one. But yeah, anyways, this is September. It's me changing her. As you guys can see, she has a lot of glitter on her. She came to me with the, the glitter on her. And um, I did give her a bath when she first got here, but the glitter still stayed on her. And I think I asked you guys for some tips on how to get it off. So I'll have to refer back to that video um, so I can get it off. But yeah, anyways, that's me just changing her. That's my fourth topic, and that's pretty much it for today's video. If you guys want to go ahead and give us a follow on Instagram, you guys can do so. Our Instagram is my underscore reborns, and that is pretty much it for today's video. If you guys like it, give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below anything you guys want in the comments, including beauty requests. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button. Also, ring that bell so you guys can always be notified when I post another video. All right, we will talk to you guys later. Bye.